The great problem with religion, I think, is that there is in fact so much evil, and I would add innocent suffering in the world, and that seems to call into question the existence of God. In my opinion, there's no deeper question, and there have been many attempts to reflect upon this question in philosophy and theology and all the religions, as Alfred North Whitehead said, every be religion begins with the sense that something is awry. And what is it that's awry? Well, usually what's awry is this sense of innocent suffering, suffering of a child, or this sense of evil, both natural evil, like earthquakes, and personal evil. The latter is, in some ways, of course, easier to respond to because we are responsible, we human beings, on the whole, for most of the personal evil. But that doesn't leave the question um, unanswered. It just leaves it unexplained in the strict sense of explanation. I do not believe in most of the explanations that are, su are supposed to be explanations to the problem of evil, such as God does not cause but permits evil. I mean, they have a point, of course, I don't deny that. They have a point of helping one to understand aspects of the question. But my own belief is that precisely the question of evil, and above all the question of innocent suffering, whether through natural evil or human evil, is a question that you're driven, as Luther said, you're driven for him to the cross, for me to the cross, too, or if you're in another religion, to whatever the central symbols are of that religion to help you understand. In the Christian case, when you're driven to the cross, you're also driven to the understanding that God in God's self also suffers evil and innocent suffering. God's own reality is one that is not simply distant from us, but is one that in fact is enormously empathetic, sympathetic, and precisely as such is affected by what we do and who we are and of course affects us, and that God and God alone is the one reality, the one individual who affects all reality, and it's important to remember on the issue of evil, is affected by all reality. I've always thought the great German Protestant theologian who died from the Gestapo, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, was correct to say that only a suffering God can help us now. And precisely the understanding of God that I find in the Bible as the central understanding, and certainly in the New Testament, in the story of the Passion and Resurrection of Jesus, is precisely a God who cares, who loves, and who suffers with us. That is not, I repeat, an explanation for evil. It is a religious response of faith and of hope for religions who fundamentally, when facing the issue of evil, matters of can we hope and we can't.